Okay, best crypto strategy here in 2022. I wanted to make this video and hopefully it's an evergreen video here for the entire year of 2022 because we're almost halfway through and things have been super bearish, right? However, uh, when we have a bearish market, this is when opportunity meets financial freedom. What do I mean by that? Well, these are the times where people actually make a lot of their money in a bear market. You've probably heard the saying, you know, uh, buy low, sell high, right? Well, the only way to buy low is to buy in a bear market, right? So this is the time where we can stack up on our highest conviction plays. This is the time where we reap the rewards later because of all the work we put in now, right? So I have five tips for you right now in this bear market to help you through uh, and to help you get to the next phase and the next bull market. So number one is dollar cost averaging. This is a strategy deployed by many. And what I'm doing with dollar cost averaging, how I'm doing it is buying Bitcoin and Ethereum every single day. Now, if you can't do that, that's okay. You can buy it every single week. You can buy it every single month. But the idea here is try not to time the market, right? There's an old saying, it's not about timing the market, it's about time in the market, right? Time in the market, you can reap the rewards later down the line. So dollar cost averaging is a great strategy to where you don't have to pay attention to the chart every single day, just slowly buy different assets that you have high conviction in, which leads us to the second tip, focus in on your high conviction assets. What do I mean? Well, during a bull market, we can look at a lot of different speculative assets. And let's just face it, we can make a lot of money on speculative assets because there's so much money floating around. Everybody has excess money. Every project that's starting is having a great launch. That's not the case here in a bull market. So mitigate your risk by going back to the well to your highest conviction assets. For me, I'm doubling down on my highest plays right now, which are Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, SHIB, Crow, Gala, Algorand, and a few others. This is where I'm going back to the well, ensuring up my positions on my highest conviction place. Number three is keep a cash position. What do I mean? Well, in a bear market, you want to have a larger cash, uh, cash position so you can dollar cost average in your high conviction assets without cash on hand. You can't do that, right? So I'm holding on to much more cash here in 2022 uh, opposed to 2021 where I was deploying almost all of my money into the market, right? I wasn't keeping a lot of my money in the checkings account during a bull market. I wanted that money to be making more money in the, in the bull run, right? But here in the bear market, keep a cash position, keep money on hand as much as you can that way, it can be put into the market at variety uh, at a variety of different times uh, using that dollar cost average method, right? Number four is save money, right? Because in order to have a cash position, you have to save, right? Save more during these times. I know it's tough for a lot of people out there. Uh, a lot of people are just hanging on to what they have, but find ways to live below your means. Eat out less, spend less on items that are not necessities, find ways to make extra money through different side hustles or online businesses, find a way to get more cash on hand, to have that in the bank, to give you that safe position, that security. And that way you can invest more during the bear market. Because again, more money put in in the bear market means more fruitful returns in the bull market. The last one kind of goes hand in hand with save money. It's number five, spend less. And they kind of go hand in hand, right? Save money, spend less. Uh, in order to save money, you probably should spend less, right? But in general, spend less. Don't buy things you don't need. In fact, you can even look at it the other way. Sell some things you don't need, right? A lot of people have collectibles that they've been hanging on to for a long time. If there are value in those things and you see additional value in crypto, maybe you sell some of those items in order to get more cash on hand, which then you can obviously deploy into the crypto market. So hopefully these tips help you here. This is my crypto strategy in 2022. And really it is my more macro strategy here in 2022. Dollar cost averaging, 
Go back to the well to your high conviction assets. Keep a cash position, save money, and spend less. These are the five tips. Hopefully these help. Let me know if they do down below in the comment section. Also, let me know down there what you're doing. Is there something that you're doing that I didn't mention where it can help other people who are watching this video? I love hearing from you. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I appreciate it, and I will see you all in the next video.